Hello. So I hope this will be a fast video. I just wanted to show you that I made a modification over the weekend. Um, I removed my graphics. I also um, made a fender brace, fork brace. You can see in there. It's a piece of aluminum. The first time I did it, it was too tight and the fender was rubbing on the wheel. So I had to drill another set of holes and uh, raise it up quite a bit. But I've noticed that when I'm at 55 in fifth gear, when I turn, I notice that it's snappier. It almost feels like there's lower, it's lower center of gravity, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, there's a lot less of this in the fender. Show you that. Plus, I didn't modify any stock parts, so I can always put it back to the way it was and just remove the brace or leave the brace there and put the fender back up. It doesn't really matter. But I, I've definitely noticed an improvement with that. Oh, let's see. Put my bags back on. I'm out tooling around, so I figured I'd, you know, bring food and uh, wet weather gear and all that. I moved my tank bag up a little bit to have more room. Uh, I still haven't decided if I want to do the mod where you chop this section off of the rear fender and move the plate up just under the light. Um, so far I've, I'm just thinking about it. So there's that. Bike's uh, purring pretty good. I decided to fill up at um, at the hundredth um, on my odometer so I can gauge exactly how much gas I'm using. I filled it up with 92 octane premium and I think so far I've gone oh it's it's digital it doesn't tell you unless you turn it on so let's see okay so I've gone about 58.6 miles since I filled it up, so we'll see. Um, my last uh, cluster had just over 600 miles on it, so I've broken the 1,000 mile mark. And I also replaced the uh, main jet with a um, 120. And I replaced the spark plug with the Iridium uh, NGK. And I I don't think that putting the 120 in here changed my top end speed. It gave it gave me a little bit more torque, I would say, at the top at 55. Like 50 to 55, I can get there faster now because I'm giving it more gas. Uh, so that definitely helped. And the iridium spark plug. As soon as I put that in, um, let's see which one it is. That's a little hot. <laughs> Just got up there. IX9. I can't see the other numbers, but you can find them on uh, hawk250.com. They'll tell you all about that. But it definitely um, fires up easier, and I think has makes the engine run a little smoother. So those are the mods I did over the weekend. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm out and about. This is the same road that I took when I did my. Um, long boring ride video uh, one two and three so I didn't record riding up here but I did want to go over the bike when I got here so all right well if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can and uh, yeah this is uh, this is why we ride nice view Oh, I did notice that with the fork brace, the front end is definitely firmer. I would almost say it's a harder suspension, which is strange. I don't know if it should have changed that, but it definitely feels less bouncy and more snappy when you're turning, which is nice. I like it. But the fork brace, if you're going to make yourself one, 
man, if you don't have the proper tools, it's gonna be a bear. So just keep that in mind. I don't have any measurements for you now, but if enough people ask, I'll take mine and uh, measure it up. So, all right, take it easy. Have a good one.